Well, hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. I'll show you a few things I've been up to. Those are photographs etched in glass. And it is almost dark in here. Well, not almost dark, but there's not much light going on. So there isn't any fancy lighting tricks on those. They're just, I mean, you can see at an angle. Those are engraved rather well. The other ones, you know, were coming kind of light. We're going to do this one here from the photograph, from the original photograph in light burn from start to finish using light burn and my good old X tool D1 here. Um, before we get started, let me clean this stuff out. Let's set our glass up so it dries. Turn the light on here. I might show you my table after a while. <laughs> but to start with, this has got to be done on a flat hard surface. Everything has got to lay flat. You can't have waves in the cardboard. You can't have gaps. It can't be on top of a, uh, one of your honeycombs. The laser will go right through. There can't be any air underneath it. And basically what we're going to do where's my piece of stuff? this is Your post board, you get it at Walmart. Uh, I like it, it's been working pretty good. Now, if you look at it, one side's got a, almost a chalky finish to it, and one side's got a grainy finish to it, and this side here is more grainy than this one. And I actually call that. <laughs> the back. But I like using the grainy side. It kind of breathes a little better. Get out to the side. Let's just wash our glass to start with. I'm going to do it my rag. And we're just going to do this down and dirty. This is, uh, it's only like 30% alcohol. It's got a little minty something in it. I had a couple bottles around and figured I'd use the stuff up. If I can do it with this, you can do it with the good stuff. All I do is just wash your glass. And I mean, it don't have to be perfect. I've thrown them down with fingerprints. <laughs> well, you don't want fingerprints because the oils will mess with it. But I've thrown some pretty dirty glasses down there. That looks close enough. Now I do like this soap. Uh, and I don't even know if you can see them that there's And five little dots. And that's it. Get rid of these. Get a nice light coat. I like the dish soap because it makes, I think it helps with the smoke. Some do, some don't. It's your preference. Doing a heavy burn, I would definitely use it. There's a lot of what's going to be white area. There's a lot, a whole lot of black in your picture. You're definitely going to want some. You'll end up with some smoke stains. 
Well, we'll just let that sit. While we go over here. See it better than I can. So we're gonna go ahead and somewhere down. That's not it. There's I think there it is. And it's way too big. I think our piece of glass here is only Sorry, this is Mark, eight inches. And it says it's four by six. That'll fit on that piece of glass. That's all we need to know. Hit Alt and I. Gotta bring up the image editor. I go down here to grayscale for setting it everything up. Now we do need to negative the image. Because we're gonna be burning it backwards. Um, what do we play with? I always go, I like running about three for the radius and you'll be playing with this on and off in between. Uh, gamma. Let's give it a little gamma. See how the details go away. It's just a playing game. You just there is no. If you want to keep the brakes back there, you gotta keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on the details in the face, the hands, and you just you try and get it as dark as you can without losing see how the darker it gets you start losing details in the fingers but then if you bring the whites in oops if you bring the whites in too far then it washes and goes but see how you, the more you roll that one up I'm liking the hands around in that area Let's try going the other way with the settings. Let's go put everybody back at zero here. That's the original. Let's go up here and turn the contrast up. Definition in the fingers are gone. The ring's gone. I don't know if we want to be pulling that much out, but that actually looks pretty good right there. See the, the definition coming back in. If you get too much, it starts getting that over sharp look. And it's really nasty. Um, trying to run the D1 with grayscale. God, it's. Um, 
they like to tore my machine up. Um, play with your different modes. That made that way too bright. The other doesn't look half bad. Stucky actually went a little bit darker. Jarvis, we got some more detail in here. Let's play with this a little bit, see what happens. See how you start getting these sharpness lines? Gotta watch that. And that's from your... There is no sets. This works. It's all according to your to your graphic. How dark your graphic is. See, this has got lines coming in from being turn them off, and it's still in there. See the ring come in, the name, you can actually see the brand, and you can watch this fill in as I move this slider. I'm loving right what I'm seeing there, and I mean, that's a whole lot of, <laughs> that's a whole lot of adjustment. Let's just give it a shot, see what happens. That worked for me. Now, uh, I want mine to be on the back. Now it's up to you. This is the time where if you're going to want it to be on the front, uh, mirror it and turn it over. I'm going to leave mine on the back so it looks like the others. Now this is all set up and ready to go. Oh. I guess we should do our settings here, huh? I did three last night. First one broke because I got way too hot. Second one kind of had smoke stains in it because I slowed down way too much and I had the paper upside down. <laughs> Third one is the one I've been showing. The one you just saw. It turned out great, but it could have used more powder. The second pass over the top of it actually dulls it out. Weird how that happens, but you're better off trying to get as much power you can into it on the first pass. 80 was a little rough, a little too high, it cracked the glass. So I'm gonna try this at 75 and I'm going to keep the speed at the same 80. I'm just taking the, to, taking the percentage up 15. We'll see what happens. Let's see what we got here. Change it to 80. Change it to 75. I've got my line intervals turned down. On this. I've got overscanning turned off. And at 0 .808 for the line interview, which is 317 Jarvis. We're just going to go with this and see what we get. Yeah, let's turn the... Uh, Noise maker on here. First off, let's get you up, get you out of the way. I mean, this is way too big. I had a piece cut, and I don't know what I did with it. So, 
I'm just going to use this. This is the side I wipe the soap on. This is the grainy side of the paper, not the smooth side. That's it. And we'll frame it, center it up. And this is saying four six two, which is frame it to what happens. Not bad. Not bad if we just move the plate over. <laughs> Scientific method. Close enough for what we're doing. We're at 80 for speed, 75 for power. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go away. I'm feeling up. Uh, go take a nap and I'll see you back in a little bit. I'm gonna let this thing run. We had a battery failure. Plugged in, don't see how. You didn't miss much. Getting <laughs> close.
Can't tell if any bad ones, but So I like to take a piece of scotch brick pad. That's looking dang nice. that simple. Gorgeous from here. Light on. Um, there he is. Here's the difference between it being on flat black and being on gloss black. that right in front of your eyes. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, my speed was 80 and my power was 80. 0 0.08 for line interval, 317 dpi. Used 
what do we use? We use Jarvis with overscanning turned off. And oh, that is that's unreal. I got a wiggle line and something happened. I'm not gonna say anything. I thought I heard it do something, but that is amazing. And if you like, I'll pull back up the image editor here real quick. settings I used. I mean they were way out there. That's what I used in there. I bet it you can't use them settings on your picture. They're all going to be different. Um, the amount of color, the amount of contrast you have, uh, the amount of white in that. I mean, this thing. That's barely any light. Well, you can see how bright the table is. I mean, it, there's no light going on and that's it just laying on the table I'm more than impressed got any problems or need any help just let me know